to us, yes, the guys. Alan here. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Today we're here back in my home because I want to do some cooking again. And this time we're going to do something which is manageable all by myself without the help of my mom and my dad. And that is going to be instant noodles. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're thinking. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know I have an instant noodle problem. And yeah, so today we're going to cook like four different brands of instant noodles. Um, we're going to review their um, spicy um, fried noodle variants. Okay, that's it. I've been fasting for like close to 20 hours already. I'm super hungry. Let's get started. Alright, so let's start with the Mi 100 first. So first we've got the uh, noodle. A little bit broken up, but... Oh well. There's some of the powder seasoning and the oil seasoning. Up next we've got the Mi Zedek. So there's the noodle. Quite a bit bigger than the Mi 100 one. Um, and then we've got... Let's see. We've got quite a lot of goodies actually. First we've got the powdered seasoning, and then there's the fried onions, then we've got the spicy seasoning, so as you can, if you guys can see, there's number one and number two, so the more you pour into it, the more spicy it's supposed to be, and yeah, last is their uh, oil seasoning. So let's get started with these two first. So if you guys notice, I've got two stoves running, because you know, for the sake of efficiency and my stomach, because I'm starving. All right, the pots are boiling, so let's toss in the noodles. One for the 100, this one for Mi Sedap. Let's start with the Mi 100 plus. Ooh I like to keep my noodles a little bit moist, so that, um, you know, it's easier to mix them up with the seasonings. All right, let's go with the Mi Sedap next. Oops. This one smells a lot nicer. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This one smells spicier, um, a little bit more oily. It's got a more fragrant aroma, which I absolutely love. All right, that should be good enough for me set up. Let's get to eating. Let's start with the Mi 100 first. Cheers, guys. That was actually pretty good. Pretty flavorful and a good amount of kick in there too. I'm not too sure where is the jalapeno and all of that, but it is pretty spicy. Up next, we've got the misra. Cheers. Wow, this one is quite a bit spicier than the main 100 one. And in that first sip, there's kind of like a small zing where it refreshes you and keeps you going for more. Now, this is definitely a lot yummier than the main 100 one. Time to cook our third and fourth noodle. Let's go with the Nindomi first. So there's the noodle, uh, and there's the powdered seasonings and the chili seasoning. Uh, and Indomie's uh, signature triple uh, like seasonings. There's the chili sauce, there's the soy sauce, and there's the fried um, onions in there. Next, let us open the Miyabun Chabe. There is the noodle. It's a lot longer. I mean, you guys can pretty much guess from the packaging, but yeah, it's a lot longer. It's thinner, so not as thick as the other uh, packages. There's some of their signature abun chabe, the ones that keep the spice, and some oil seasonings. And now we wait. Let's start the indomie. Oh yeah. It smells incredible, actually. Mmm, tons of peppery. Oh yeah. This one has a more like stronger oily smell to it, uh, which I love. And yeah, it's got that beautiful signature uh, smell of the Indomie Goreng. And just a tad bit spicier than usual. Alright, so here goes the Bon Chabi noodles. Oh yeah. Wow. This one has a slightly sweet smell to it actually. Masking like a very, <laughs> almost like venomous smell of spice and heat you know and you just like it it's like a it's like a sweet temptation before they torture you oh yeah this smells incredible aroma wise i can tell you this is the most unique it doesn't smell as spicy as the miso original it's got a very complex almost beautiful uh, mix of fragrances in there and yeah, i think that's good enough uh, let's get to feast then all right time to eat the indomie goreng Look at that, um, the color is a little bit paler than the other fried noodles that we have for tonight. But yeah, though I'm not gonna judge a book by its looks, let's have a taste. 
Look at that noodle pool. That's beautiful. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm a little bit disappointed actually. Um, I was expecting it to be, you know, at least as good as a regular Indomie Goreng, but it is not. There's actually a slight taste of like parsley, kind of like herby flavor in there somewhere. But like, this is supposed to be spicy, y'all. Where's the heat, Indomie? There's no heat. Not a bite for good measure. Where's the heat, you know me? All right, so the last noodle we're gonna have for tonight is the Mia Bunchabe. I hope, you know, it lets me recover from my disappointment from the you know me. I'm gonna give it one last mix. Cheers. Now that's a spicy noodle. It is great. Um, there's a strong umami in there, but an even stronger like spice, just enveloping all of it. There's none of that sweetness that I smell just now. <laughs> it's all trap. It's all spice in there, which honestly I'm not complaining. I love, love that. All right, that's it. That's the four noodles that we've tasted tonight. Um, I haven't finished them yet, I'm gonna save it up for later where I'm gonna mix them up. So stay tuned if you wanna watch that. I don't know why, but maybe if you wanna see me eat. But yeah, um, in my opinion, the one that is at the bottom ranking is Indomie, honestly. Um, I was expecting a lot more. But the, the noodle is very... Um, I, don't know. I, don't, I don't know how to put this. Kind of... Not even as good as the usual um, Inomi Goreng, you know, and there's none of that spice that they promised at the packaging. Look at that. Mi Goreng Pedas. It's supposed to be Pedas, guys. Where's the heat? And then uh, is the Mi 100. It is spicy, it is savory, so just about everything that I expect from a spicy instant noodle, right? And actually, between the second and first, I'm really kind of torn here because between Mi Setup and Mi Abun Shabe, both for like pretty good you know they are like pretty spicy and also pretty flavorful you know what I cannot decide let me just have another slurp of both and just compare them live all right I realize this may not be very fair because the Mizrap has been sitting for a little bit longer than the Mia Banchabe but yeah just do a taste test real quick get a bit of the Mia Banchabe next So the Mia Bun Chabe has a slightly stronger cake, but in terms of like deliciousness, I'm gonna have to give it to Misada. You guys, do chug this one. Very delicious. Love the aroma as well. Good job, Misada. You've won Alan's ranking of um, Indonesian uh, spicy fried noodles. And yeah, keep it up. So yeah, that's it, guys. It's a pretty fiery competition between the four brands. And I do hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, I hope you find this useful when you're buying your next instant noodle. And yeah, let us know if you've tried any of the instant noodles and if you agree or disagree with my opinion. I'd love to hear from you guys. And I guess that's it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Drop a like if you do. Share it with your friends if you think they're gonna enjoy it. That goes a long way towards supporting the show. Remember to subscribe and follow us on our socials so that you don't miss any of our updates and our videos. And that is it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Matur Suksuma. And I'll see you guys in the next one. It's time for my favorite part of the show. I just put everything together and hope for the best. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. That unholy mix of everything spicy quite aromatic actually i'm not gonna lie holy crap there's the bits of fiery red from the misada and then there's the light brown of the mi 100 
There's the Mia Bon with the dark brown. You just give them a good mix. Alright, that's the finished product. <laughs> I know some of you are screaming like, Alan, stop it! No. Let's give this a chance, shall we? Don't hate it. Look at that. That beautiful noodle pull of four brands, you know, making peace and hopefully making each other taste a lot better. Actually, now that I've um, had a couple of bites there, I can see it for reals. Like, Mixed Up seasoning is the one that stands out the strongest. This is spicy as well. Not so spicy because everything just combines together, but the aroma is the most distinct and the most powerful to cut through all the other seasonings in there. I just remembered I haven't drunk a single drop of water and some black tea. Yeah, cheers guys. That hit the spot. How are you guys doing though? You guys feeling alright? You guys eating healthy? Don't follow me by the way, this is very not healthy. Um, it's something nutritious. I'm just, I'm just a sucker for instant noodles. Also, please do not eat so much like in the spicy food at once, especially after you're done fasting, like I did. I'm only doing it because I know my stomach can handle it. Because you know I'm still relatively young. Um, but yeah, uh, I drank a bit of um, tea just now before the video begins to make sure that it's not too acidic in my stomach. And that is it. Thank you for watching until the end. <laughs> the four of you still watching. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.